going up down here, not only is it a great place, but the beaches are amazing. My favourite place, pretty much in the world, is Yelling Up Beach. You know, just hanging out down there um, was pretty much my childhood, so it was a, it's a really special place for me. My earliest memory of footy was probably back at home, just kicking the footy around the, the paddock with my little brother and my dad. Oh yes, in the paddock, in the pouring rain, with people coming and saying, isn't he freezing? He's got no shoes on, make sure he wears some shoes. He would never wear shoes. My fondest memory playing footy in Dunsborough was probably winning a couple of premierships with a lot of close friends, which I'm still mates with today. I started coaching Stan when he was five. He's without doubt the best junior footballer I've ever seen or coached. You've either got it or you haven't, and the first time I kicked the ball to him, the way he marked it, the way he kicked on his left side, all right, so it didn't really matter. To lead up to the draft of my draft year, I did speak to about seven or eight clubs through the year, so I had a hope that um, I was going to get picked up, but it didn't happen. You know, it was pretty bittersweet for me, just seeing my best mates get picked up, but missing out was pretty, pretty sad. That day was very hard because he rang me in tears and he said, Mum, I'm so sorry that I didn't do this for you. Mum was very helpful for me. She just always just lets me know how proud she is of me and she inspires me so much just to push myself and, and work hard. Those sorts of things make you, you know, want it a little bit more and there's always hope and you know, if we can do all the little things right, we could get there one day. What inspires me to try and get to that next level is probably a lot to do with family, to make you know, my family proud and then make them so they can possibly have a little bit of a better life. Everything that's leading up to this point right now has um, been a good lesson for him. But I just truly believe that he has the passion and the drive. There is definitely a space for him in, in some team somewhere in the AFL. You know, I hope he still goes to the next level. He's, there's no reason why he can't. He's got all the skills. Everything's there. He just needs a lucky break. Resilience is really important, especially for guys like myself that have come up from the country to play you know, at a waffle level. With everyone that plays waffle footy, I reckon, is, is super resilient in their own way, um, just because of the demands of it. But, you know, we do it because we all love it.